In this video, let's see what do we mean by the other type of matrix called as the scalar matrix. We have already seen in our previous videos few types of matrices, namely four matrices. Those were row matrix, column matrix, square matrix, diagonal matrix. Row, column, square and diagonal. In this video, we are going to see the fifth type of matrix called as the scalar matrix. Now we already know what do you mean by square and what do you mean by a diagonal matrix and hence we will be using the concept of square and diagonal in this scalar matrix. First let's see what the definition has to say and then we'll understand it with the help of mathematical representation and one to two examples. So the definition goes as follows, a diagonal matrix, a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are equal. So scalar matrix is what? It is a diagonal matrix with all the diagonal elements equal. For people who have still not understood, let's see the mathematical representation and some examples to the same. First, let's see the examples. I have one example as a matrix A and that matrix is what? It is a diagonal matrix. So first, let's make a diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix of the order 3 by 3 would be what? It would be having 3, 3 are 9 elements and those 9 elements will be such that all the elements except the diagonal are 0. So all the elements except the diagonal will be 0. This is a diagonal matrix. Here some entries are there like A11 has some entries, A22 has some entry, A33 has some entry in a diagonal matrix. But what is the difference between diagonal and scalar? Here what will happen is all the elements of the leading diagonal are equal. That is as simple as that and that is a scalar matrix. So if here I write 5 everywhere, it is a diagonal matrix, yes, because only diagonal elements are present, the others are 0 and yes it is a scalar matrix also because the diagonal elements are equal. So this classification of a matrix is a scalar matrix and if I write a scalar matrix that automatically means that yes it is a diagonal matrix also. But let's take another example. Another example is a matrix B wherein I have the elements enlisted somewhat like this. Now what can you say about this matrix? This is a square matrix, yes because the M and N are equal. Is this a diagonal matrix? Yes, because the elements except the leading diagonal. What is the leading diagonal? This is the leading diagonal. The elements except this diagonal are 0. But are these both elements same? Is 1 equal to 5? No. So this is not a scalar matrix. So this is non-scalar matrix. Now you understand the difference between scalar and diagonal matrix? Hence, after understanding with the help of examples, let's see the mathematical representation. Mathematical representation or the analysis would be such that I have a matrix A and the A matrix is such that the elements are again A i j n by n or m by n because it is an order n square matrix and the definition goes as follows that if a i j has i equal to j that means the diagonal elements a 1 1, a 2 2, a 3 3 they are not equal to 0 they are equal to indeed some scalar c. So a i j wherein I have i equal to j the value is what? The value of a i j is equal to some c that is equal to some constant c. So this goes the definition. And what about when i is not equal to j? When i is not equal to j, that means a12, a21, a31, a32, so on. Then it is always equal to 0. You can see here, it is a21, i not equal to j. It is a12, i not equal to j. Then also it is always 0. So there are two definitions for the same, that I have aij n by n, wherein if I have i equal to j, it is equal to some c. And if I have i not equal to j, my a i j value is basically equal to 0. 
So in this video, we saw what do we mean by a scalar matrix. A scalar matrix is basically a type of diagonal matrix only, wherein the only difference is that yes, the diagonal entries have to be equal and they have to be non-zero. 